Hello again, this is Matt Moser with uh, Alchemy Solutions, a partner with Alchemy Solutions, and I want to continue where we left off in our tutorial on Fujitsu Net COBOL calling to visualbasic.net, um, but in more particular, how do I call a uh, mixed language program? It could be C sharp.net um, or VB.net or any mixed language. So without too much ado, where we left off with in our last tutorial, and if you haven't seen it, I suggest you go back and review that one. Um, we left off with working storage and declaring our variables. One of our variables was the uh, was the object reference to our class VB functions, which pointed back to um, the Visual Basic DLL and the associated class within it. And so continuing on, we're actually going to call a message. And in order to call the message, we have a message field. We have a title that we want to put in our message box, as well as what type of message box we want to have come up. Um, in this particular case, we're going to have a uh, yes-no message box come up. And you'll notice here that we have pickS99, comp5 value 4, which corresponds to an integer data type. So this type and this type technically under the skins are the same thing. Um, so as we kind of move along here a little bit, um, we're going to add some procedural code. And I have some off camera that you can't see. I'm going to copy in. And let's do that right now. And you'll notice that what I've copied in is an invoke class VB functions which was our class that we had up before with a new variable which will give us a new object instance for that um, class VB functions and it's going to put it as a reference to the ob to VB functs okay so if you remember correctly we declare VB functs up here when we call our code that's the function that we're going to use VB functs not class VB functs uh, and I'll show you why here shortly now let's put the rest of our code into place and again copying this off camera where you can't see it and copy paste and the code that we have here now is this original code which you need in order to create the instance only once for this one particular program in this case it's a straight through program and we don't need to do any looping or anything worry about initialization um, for more than one time. So in this particular case we're going to move do you like coffee to the message, move coffee to the title, and then we're going to invoke do message. If you remember right from our first tutorial, do message is sitting in our VB DLL. So we're going to go back to our COBOL and here we are back in the COBOL again we're going to evoke do message using by value WS message message box, box type yes no and our title returning um, the value that says what button they pressed within that particular function I just kind of want to show you something here if I type in invoke BB funks this way you know whether or not you've got it set right you'll notice that all of the particular um, properties, functions, and so forth that are available to VB Funk show up here. And if I type in, and I want to select a message from the IntelliSense, and you'll notice that all the parameters also show up, which is pretty cool. Um, watch what happens if I use the wrong one. notice that it doesn't find everything and that's a good clue to know that you're using the uh, the wrong piece when you're coding if it doesn't find it and just look back to make sure that you created an object reference for it and that you're using it so now we have all of our code and what's going to wind up happening as long as we did this all right we'll have our message box return and we're going to check it to see whether or not it's a yes which happens to be a value of six or return no, which happens to be a value of 7 in this particular case. 
and for some reason if our DLL doesn't work technically there will be a 99 coming back um, you'll see no idea how we got here so without too much further ado let's try running and see if we get any error messages does an automatic compile for us and what do we see do you like coffee and I think we'll answer yes because I do like coffee and it says you like coffee right here so we know that answered okay we're gonna press our key boom you've just seen how to call a uh, through mixed language a bb.net DLL it's associated class from Fujitsu Cobalt.net again if you have questions you can reach out to our support center or you can reach me at Matt underscore Moser at MoserSoft.com have a great day thanks